643 this morning and the reports of flooding still coming in, uh, especially yesterday in this band from Lake Charles to the south of Alexandria. Some tremendous uh, rain came down and uh, just an absolute mess in there. Some isolated flooding in, in Mississippi, isolated damaging wind report as well. And we've been getting more and more reports of flooding already this morning in Arkansas. And I think we're going to be adding to that uh, throughout the day today. And the flood threat is going to continue for a couple more days today and tomorrow because of Barry, even though it's not a tropical storm, tropical depression anymore, it's just a leftover low pressure system technically classified as post tropical cyclone Barry. Notice the sustained winds 15 miles per hour. That's not going to do any damage, but you can see the rain. Look at that heavy rain in Arkansas and a band and it's a band that hasn't let up and, and that's why the reports of flooding are coming in. It's still slowly moving, but not quickly and that's why the flash flood threat is uh, continuing uh, likely to see flash flooding in parts of Arkansas today, northern Mississippi, Tennessee and an outside chance of flooding in parts of Illinois, Ohio and guess what? It continues another chance of flooding tomorrow as well and if places farther to the north and east as what's left of Barry merges with a cold front and there could be some flooding in parts of Pennsylvania even into New York but notice not for the state of Texas. Uh, the impacts of Barry, we are done with them, and that's why our forecasts are remaining dry. I can't rule out a stray sprinkle very early this morning. Lots of low-level clouds to start the day, and sometimes you can squeeze out a little sprinkle. Best chance would be in Cameron or Willis County, but it wouldn't be much, and essentially we're going to be dry today besides those few sprinkles early this morning. Gradually, the clouds are going to be breaking up. Now, most of the day is going to be partly cloudy, but I do think mostly sunny skies will come out in the very late afternoon, early evening hours, just before sunset. Highs around 96 today a little bit cooler because of the cloud cover around, but the humidity is higher. So ultimately, I think it's only going to feel about a degree cooler than yesterday. 103 for our feels like temperature. It's going to be a breezy day, gusts around 25 miles per hour. Those winds will die down tonight, and though we will start with mostly clear skies, just like last night, the clouds will be coming back, and it'll be a mostly cloudy end to the night early start tomorrow morning another muggy night as well with lows around 79 for tomorrow it's a similar story mostly cloudy to start the day gradually becoming mostly sunny i think the clouds may break up a little bit faster and with the humidity dropping a little bit it's going to ultimately end up being hotter and the humidity is not dropping much so 98 feeling like 104 another breezy day expected and another dry day expected so when is our next rain chance? I don't think it occurs until Monday. Notice even the weekend looking dry. For Monday, we've got a 30% chance of rain. Uh, that said, I think there might only be a few showers around during the day. The better chance looks like the evening and overnight hours on Monday. And if you look beyond the seven day forecast, I do think we're going to have more days with isolated showers and storms. It does look like next week the sea breeze will be coming back, but until then, not much to talk about. Partly cloudy today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll call it mostly sunny or Saturday and Sunday on your first one five active weather forecast. Notice breezy every single day uh, today. Technically the coolest day at 96 every other day, 97, 98 overnight lows in the upper 70s. More news in just a bit.